Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys to the match preview between Sevilla and Barcelona in La Liga this weekend. It is a massive game because quite frankly we have to get back to winning again. Four draws in our last five games that is not what you expect from Barcelona and our last quality performance came against Sevilla. If there was a time to recapture some confidence some clinical finishing this is the game to do it especially when you consider on the horizon next week two Classico matches we need to get back in form. It starts right here. Coming right up is everything you need to know. Let's do this. Kickoff will be coming to us on the early kickoff on the Saturday afternoon, 4.15pm, coming live from the Ramon Sanchez Pijuan. And here, as always, guys, are the times right around the world. So hopefully you can sit down and watch Barcelona get back in the groove. And your predictions, as always, guys, are coming out in their numbers. And many of you believing that we're going to win this game and we're going to win it by two goals. Not three plus this week, but still pretty confident there with a two goal victory win. And elsewhere in La Liga this weekend... Atletico Madrid fresh from their Champions League heroics against Cristiano Ronaldo's Juventus. They won 2-0 on the night. They'll be taking on Villarreal on Sunday at the Wanderer Metropolitano. And Atletico Madrid, of course, are back in second place now in La Liga, whereas third place Real Madrid will be facing Levante in what will be the last game on Sunday evening. And when you look at the La Liga table right now, we're seven points clear, a really healthy lead there on Atletico, eight clear of Real. And for the first time in quite a while here, we're going to be playing on the Saturday we're going to be on the Saturday getting our game in and then afterwards we're going to watch Real and Atletico play catch up. If we do our job, if we can win on that Saturday a big statement away at a tough ground in La Liga like Sevilla's is, that'll be massive. We could go 10 points clear heading into that Sunday when we're going to watch the Madrid clubs go into action and potentially our lead could grow again. But look, we cannot by any stretch of the imagination afford to take Sevilla lightly here. Number one, we know what they're capable of. We got beaten at the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan just one month ago by two goals to nil in the Copa del Rey quarterfinal. But in fairness to us, that loss did come in a heavily rotated Barcelona side. We without the likes of Messi, Busquets, Dembele wasn't even there on that day. But it's actually since that sensational comeback when you look at Sevilla, at the camp now we have blitzed them on the day. 6-1 it finished. That has really seemed to hurt them. Their confidence, their feelings, certainly domestically, they've suffered since that game. And we were on on that day, which like I've said before, is just three weeks or so ago, we were running rampant over Sevilla. 6-1 it was, we were brilliant in front of Glow, we were clinical, everything really we haven't been of late. Coutinho was on form, Rakitic scoring, Sergio Roberto, Luis Suarez getting a goal, and Messi as well. And following that defeat for Sevilla, their league form has been seriously, seriously poor after that game. In their three games since, they're without a win, they've lost against struggling Celta, they've lost against struggling Villarreal, and they also got in there a very, very fortunate draw at home against Avar coming from behind. And as you can see here from the table, that's Sevilla well and truly of course out of the title race and to be honest now, they're actually in a fight to stay in the Champions League places in the top four with the likes of Hitafe, Alaves, Sociedad Betis and even Valencia there closing the gap and really putting the pressure on. They need the points just as much as we do and we will have to take into account that they're not going to be completely shot of confidence here simply because in Europe, in the Europa League competition that Sevilla have absolutely loved loved over the years. They often thrive in that competition. They were brilliant in the last round on Wednesday, knocking out Lazio 3-0 on aggregates. A very good win over the two legs. Very, very solid they were. And that should certainly boost their confidence there ahead of Saturday's meeting against us. And when you look at their home form, they're still very, very good at the Ramon Sanchez Pijuan in front of their own fans. They very rarely get beat there. They still haven't lost since back in September. So certainly at home, they're going to give us a game. They're going to be solid. You know what we're going to be up against. We've seen that already this season and there's no doubt about it we once again are going to have to raise our level if we're going to get the three points here. And I think in particular, when you look at our current form, obviously in the last few games, the one thing you would say is all about that taking of chances. And I think that's going to be absolutely massive when you look at tomorrow's game, when you look at how it's going to go. If we're going to be successful here, get the win that we need to really boost our confidence. It's all about taking those chances when you get them. Because look at the game against Leon. We created. We certainly created. We didn't against Athletic. 
that was a poor display. Against Fire again, it was missing chances. You have to take them when they come along because it can be demoralizing to create that much, to do all the right things up until that very final moment when you miss your chance. That can really dent your confidence. And I think sometimes with Barcelona, it's actually the fact that we do create so many. Sometimes we've been lulled into a false sense of security because we think when we get a chance, don't worry, if we miss this one, another one's going to come along. So we don't need to be too precise in our finishing. That is nonsense. Get your chance when you've got it. Take it. Take your chance and don't look back. Don't rely on creating more and more and more. We need to be more clinical. That is an absolute fact. And one thing as well, I feel like sometimes, and it has been the case with Barcelona now for many, many years, we are guilty of overplaying. You look again at that game against Leon. there was moments there inside the box when there's a shooting opportunity, when the angle opens up, we don't take the shot. We try and pass it on. You've got Messi and Suarez in particular who always like to find each other. Even inside the area, they want to try and pick each other out. Don't worry about that. When you've got the goal in your sights, when you've got the opportunity to open the scoring, take that chance, take the lead. That will get us back bang in form. One thing that we do have to be concerned about tomorrow though is possible suspensions ahead of that League Clasico coming next weekend at the Bernabeu against Real Madrid. There are three Barcelona players that are at risk going into this game. If they get one more yellow card, they will be suspended for that visit to the Bernabeu. Those players are Ivan Rakitic in midfield, along with Arturo Vidal, both of those players just one yellow card away, and also Clement Longley is one card away from missing the Clasico, so if those three feature, I'm sure that at least two of them will tomorrow. And those three really are on thin ice ahead of that big Classico game when, of course, we want every single option possible. Go there with your best squad, with your best players. We don't want anybody missing. So hopefully we can avoid those yellows, no suspensions, because Real Madrid are also at risk with some players. Once again, guys, looking ahead, I would certainly expect Ernesto Valverde to name a very strong squad ahead of this one. Yes, of course, you want to rotate, you want to keep everybody fresh. But at the end of the day, this is a very tough game. You look at that Leon game away from home, that was difficult. But I would actually say Sevilla at home are probably even more of a force. And obviously next week, two big games against Real. Arthur, Sillison, they're not going to be involved here, but they are fighting to get back for that League Classico next weekend. But without further ado, it is now time to get on to what I would like to see from Valverde. Valverde tomorrow, we do need to change something, and for that reason, it's time to play Malcolm. And that is why I would line up like this tomorrow against Sevilla. Ter Stegen in goal, of course, Jordi Alba at left back, Semedo here at right back, Piquet and Longley, I think, are going to start. Obviously, Umtiti is back involved, but I just don't feel like we're going to throw him in too soon. It has to be gradual, especially with his knee problems. You don't want to do anything too quickly on that front. Maybe you'll get a few minutes. Busquets here in midfield, Ratatich, of course, Carlos Alenia is really, really important, I feel, in that midfield to give it just a bit more dynamism in there, a bit more creativity, something a bit different from Busquets from right at this, somebody there who can break the lines, really get forward and help us out in our attacking play. Dembele from the left, Malcolm there from the right, and Messi here in false nine. Now, I know a lot of people at the moment don't seem to like the idea of Messi playing in false nine, but it's not just about Messi in that role. When you play Messi there, what you need is help from your wide players, and I think if you play him with the right players, and especially with the right midfield, you can certainly still get the best out of him. Dembele is certainly going to give you options. Malcolm here, exactly the same. Give him some time. And linking up with Semedo was very nice against Real Madrid. But what I would also highlight here is Carlos Alenia. He's very important in terms of that midfield, like I say, in terms of breaking the lines. But what he also seems to do already is link up very, very well with Lionel Messi. You watch him when he plays and you watch Messi as well. And they do combine together very well. Alenia always looking for Messi, as everybody is, of course. But Alenia finds him. Alenia can give it to him in space. He can see the passes. And I think including them there with Messi dropping in is a really nice combination. You've got Dembele going in behind. You've got Malcolm going in behind. A lot of pace there. You've got control as well. You've got creativity. You've got two fullbacks here who can get forward. Semedo, of course, who's very good defensively as well. And Longley and Pique, who've been on good form recently at the heart of our defence. I believe that team there could certainly beat Sevilla. That's what we need. We need some goals. We need some clinical finishing. We need to get that confidence back. For me, Malcolm and Alenia. Big, big starters here.
And so with that team in mind, guys, and with some positivity, of course, I'm going to go here with a score prediction of Barcelona 2, Sevilla 0 on what would be a really big win, a good statement, and most importantly, gets us back on track ahead of those Classico games. That's what we need to do. Win this game, go into Sunday, 10 points clear, watch the other Madrid clubs in action, and then take on next week with everything we've got. Leave your thoughts down below, guys. What are your predictions for the team and for the score? I will see you tomorrow for the big match itself, but until then, as always, Vesca El Barça. Barça, Barça.